Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do, it is going to be a new haul. I think that this is a fun one because we have some makeup products, some fashion around the home. I also have a little haul in here for my dog Aries. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I start my videos with an outfit of the day. I actually just finished filming a trying new makeup. So this look should already be up on my channel so i'm still wearing my sweatpants from that video and i just changed and put on this purple tank top to match my purple eye look but i have some fashion in this video as well so i'm going to be changing into those outfits to show you but like i said just finished filming this look and i will link that tutorial in the cards i use some new products from lawless beauty like their lavender eyeshadow palette I have a couple products that I use that I will be mentioning in this haul as well. I tried the brushes from Singe Beauty and it was a very successful trying new makeup. So you wanna make sure to go check that one out. But like I said, I'm excited for today's haul because I just feel like I have a little variety and I have a few things that I'm excited to show you for my dog, Aries. She is usually with me in the back, which is why the chair is here. I decided to leave it there in case she comes midway through the video but she was with me in the whole trying new makeup uh for the last video and we have really nice weather so she's actually laying outside in the yard so you know she's taking some time off she's been in nearly every single one of my videos for the past like week or two here she deserves some time off and she already knew this video was about her also so she figured she could step out step out on this one uh so let's see where to get started you know I've been really crushing it in the kitchen lately. I'm not trying to brag, but I think I've really been crushing it in the kitchen lately. I have been working really hard on changing up my diet, making more meals at home and doing less refined sugar, all of that. And also another thing I've been trying to incorporate more is breakfast. Uh, a few months ago, I was diagnosed with adrenal PCOS. And one of the recommendations that I was given was to eat breakfast in the morning to help balance blood sugar levels throughout the day. And I'm someone who has previously intermittent fasted. So that was definitely a big change for me. And I just kind of started small, like literally eating a banana <laughs> and working my way up from there. But one thing that I have really enjoyed is finding cute bowls and mugs and jars for my different breakfasts that I make. Um, I And I put all of my recipes on my second channel, which is by Samantha March. I have my podcast over there. The Start Inspired podcast just came back. I do some videos on healthy habits and goal planning. Um, and then I also post my recipes and my workouts over there as well. So if you wanna see any of those, you can always subscribe to that channel. And I make this like muffin recipe and I bought these little tins for it. But recently I have started making overnight oat bowls. These are really, really popular online. And truly I never really thought like I would be a fan of oats. I don't know why, but I have really been enjoying these oat bowls. And look at this cute little mug that I got. I think that this is adorable. And it also comes with the little spoon as well and then the top this wooden lid and then you can add that and then add the spoon in here it has the mug as well and this is what i have been putting my opals in i do again the recipes are are on my second channel but the one that i really like is like rolled oats i do almond milk some peanut butter cinnamon yogurt chocolate chips that might be all. Um, I wanna start adding some protein powder to it as well. So, um, cause another thing that I have been researching is um, to make sure I get enough protein in the morning. I've mentioned other breakfast mugs and jars in my hauls recently as well, but it's just one of those things that it kind of gets me like excited to meal prep them. And like I have one of these, I have two other ones that have like the spoon, they were in my last haul that have like the spoons on the side. I have other ones that have like these cute white lids and I just set up everything and then I meal prep my oat bowls so I have them so I can just grab them out of the fridge and it's super easy to have throughout the week. Uh, another thing that I have for breakfast, this is just a, um, a repurchase and I've mentioned this in past hauls, but it is bone broth. So I do drink bone broth every single morning as well. This is the ones that I order from Amazon and I really like the kettle on fire. 
Sometimes I'll grab the ones from Trader Joe's as well, but I actually really prefer the Kettle and Fire. So I need to see, I know some products on Amazon you can subscribe and save like a certain amount on your orders. And this is one that I just need to set up a, a subscription for because I've been kind of going back and forth between the two. And I just like the taste of this one better. 19 grams of protein per container and I do typically half and half. So I'm getting, you know, 10 grams of protein through here already. And then with my breakfast on top of that as well. Um, but with my bone broth, I just put in a frozen um, ginger cube, salt, pepper, and turmeric. And then I just heat it up on the stove and I drink that in the morning. So I recently took out my hair extensions. Once again, you probably can't notice because I just have my hair clipped back because... I need to wash it um, but I took out my hair extensions and I'm planning to have them out through summer and hopefully for longer I would like to be extension free for a while and just really work on my hair health and growth and scalp health and all of those good things so a couple weeks ago I took out my extensions once again and when I was getting them taken out last my hairdresser did this very like big bouncy blowout on me and I bought a couple of the products that she used one of them being just rollers for the hair so these are just like are they like the velcro rollers yeah the velcro rollers so i have only used these one time so far i i think i'm i, I feel like i'm going to go back and forth between using these and then using my blowout brush i have a blowout brush from Oh my gosh, why am I blanking? It's not Kitsch. Koki. It's Koki Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I knew it started with a K. Um, I really like their blowout brush too. I think I'll just kind of alternate back and forth between using them. But sometimes this is nice too with like these smaller ones. If I feel like I want my bangs to have a little bit more oomph, I can grab like some of the smaller rollers as well and just pin my bangs back and like hit them with the blow dryer real quick and then have a little bit of bounce to the bangs if I want it to. But I really wanted to purchase these. I see like everybody <laughs> wearing hair rollers these days. So I haven't bought hair rollers in a minute. It also does come with these clips, which I just like these clips in general, like clipping my hair back when I do my makeup. But you can also use the clips to hold the rollers in place. So again, I used them one time. I thought that they were really easy to use. I didn't feel like I was asking my hair, <laughs> my hair stylist for like different tips with using the rollers and how not to tangle them and all of the things. And I felt like they were really easy to get the hang of and they stayed well. When I used them, I didn't even actually use the clips and I felt like they stayed well and I had all the clips like over my whole head. And I feel like they stayed even when I was hitting them with the blow dryer. So they weren't very expensive. I feel like I will want some help with the hair and to like try to pretend like I have more volume and all of that. Which leads me to my next hair product that I bought. This is from Orbe. This is their Maximista Thickening Spray. So my stylist used the Maximista and also the Volume yeah, the Volumista on my hair. I ended up purchasing the Maximista spray and I just did the the smaller version of it. I'm just a fan of purchasing minis if it's available to. I don't go through products super, super quickly. Um, and I, with this product, I don't feel like it's one I'm gonna be using every single time that I blow dry my hair. I also don't want to blow dry my hair every single time um, that I do. I would like to let it like air dry because um, you can't let extensions air dry. You want to make sure that you are blow drying the, blow drying the wefts. But now that I don't have them, um, I do want to be you know conscious of how much heat that I'm using on my hair. So I don't want to blow dry every single time. Um, but with this one, how my stylist was saying is that you want to use it in sections and then you spray that section uh, and then hit it with the blow dryer and then it helps to give more volume to the hair. Um, and it can feel a little bit grippy as well, but she said to just work in sections. So that's what I did and I've used it one time so far. I can, you know, she used it the one time at me at the salon. I used it one time at home. Um, but again, it's just like the little spray bottle here, but I really like a lot of the Orbe hair care products. Their dry texture spray is one that I love. I know that I will be using it so much now that I have my extensions out as well, but I really, I want that volume. I want that volume. All right, to jump into some of the makeup that I purchased, I have been talking about buying this primer for such a long time and I finally did it. This is from e.l.f. This is their Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. So I love the e.l.f. primers. I did a video recently on affordable makeup I think is better than high-end. And I just mentioned e.l.f. primers just in general. I was like, I just love their primers. I love so many of them. And also niacinamide is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. So I really wanted to try this one out as well. 
honestly at this point i feel like if i just had elf primers in my collection like I would be good to go um, again I purchased this one off of Amazon I used it today and it definitely reminded me of the original power grip primer as well where it feels a little bit more tacky so you know it's kind of gripping onto your foundation but I'm excited to test this out a few more times and also see if I notice anything over time using it with the niacinamide I also did get the NYX fat lip drip oil fat oil lip drip the new nyx lip oil i picked this one up as well i have it on my lips now and this is in the shade newsfeed i've actually been seeing so many of you recommend this i've been seeing this recommended and also the cover girl like their new gloss i think it was and i was kind of going back and forth but i do love me a lip oil and especially in the warmer months i just i love like no makeup makeup looks and doing lip oils is just what i gravitate towards so that is why i wanted to pick this one up again it is what i have on today i thought it felt very comfortable very hydrating it's not sticky at all and it gives a nice a shine to the lips so again, I will be testing out the new NYX lip oil quite a bit, but would love to know if you picked this one up too. Okay, I'll jump into a few fashion pieces and then we'll end with Aries haul. She's still sitting outside. The door is open, so I'm surprised she didn't hear my voice and come running in, but that's fine. Um, this is just kind of random, but I bought, I bought new underwear. Um, so I still need to like wash them and everything, but these are just like your regular thong underwear. It came with a lot of different colors though, white, pink, black brown gray but i hear these have like really good reviews they're from the brand uh oqq oqq which actually i believe one of the fashion pieces i'm trying on um is also from the brand and i have like shirts from them and workout sets from them and i just really like their quality of products so if you are looking for like good quality fashion pieces on amazon i know it can be a little bit hit or miss the brand oqq I highly recommend, but it was about a time that I get myself some new underwear, you know? It was just, it was that time. Okay, so I bought a pair of cargo pants, and these actually didn't work out for me, but I'm going to try them on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you and tell you what I think. So I have been seeing, like, everybody wearing cargo pants these days, and I have to say I was never really a cargo pants kind of girl, but I really like some of the outfits that I have been seeing, and then I had an event that I was going to last week that was a bar crawl in Vegas, and it included going to like a sports bar, and then a speakeasy, and then a nightclub, and I was like, what am I supposed to wear that would hit all three of these? Because like nightclubs are pretty strict on dress code, but I don't want to be in like heels playing like basketball at the sports bar. Like I was like, what do I wear? So I actually ended up ordering these cargo pants from Amazon, and I was so bummed because I loved the outfit that I had planned out and I loved the cargo pants I thought that they were so comfortable I thought they fit me so well but they were super short on me so let me pop these on I'll show you what I mean so here are the cargo pants so I just got them in black and I liked them because they were high-waisted I feel like a lot of cargo pants that I see are low-rise which I know that's like back in trend and I, I won't do that to myself but let me move my camera but if you can see they don't even touch the ground and i was like what because i was looking at reviews and people a lot of the reviews were saying they're great but they're too long and i'm like huh so i am 5'5 five five, and i will say all of my height comes from my legs like i have a short torso and all of that but i do have longer legs but still i was pretty surprised i ordered a size small i think that they fit really well like in the waist again i liked where they like sat and everything but unfortunately i am gonna have to return these because i mean i this this is just not the vibe like i'm just i'm not feeling this and i feel like with cargo pants like they're a little bit on the baggier side but typically cargo pants are like known for being very oversized baggy and long and i was like oh man because they were so comfortable i felt like they gave me a good shape but <sighs> too short the other fashion piece that i got again so yes it is from the brand the oqq and this is a one piece romper i was a little bit worried about this because this is more of like a workout piece i thought this would be really cute for the days that i go to the gym or even like taking a walk um or it could even be cute like paired with a sweatshirt or like hoodie or something like that but i have been seeing a lot of people wearing these and i think that they look really cute but i wasn't sure if my body type could necessarily pull it off but i got it in brown i really like the color again i'll try it on so you can see so here is the romper and again i just i like the quality of it and i feel like it i don't know just kind of like tugs the 
body in a nice way i feel like you can wear underwear sometimes you can kind of see the line so and if you want to wear a sports bra you can i have mine still on now but i've worn this without a sports bra also and like the material isn't sheer or anything like that again it's just like nice quality material i got a size small and i don't feel like it's too tight like on my legs or anything like that again i like the color i just like the shape and fit of it so i will definitely be working out in this walking in this I'm actually really happy because i kind of thought this might be a return but i like it all right and then i'm just gonna finish off with a few things that i got for aries who is my dog she is a vishla she is nine years old she is my best friend and one thing about her is she is super smart and it can sometimes be a little bit hard to keep her stimulated and her her mind stimulated and if she gets bored that's when she likes to like bring me my socks and my shoes or likes to go get like a toilet paper roll out of the bathroom trash things like that so it's like i'm always kind of trying to keep her challenged i take her to daycare we take a ton of walks hikes go to the park and all of that but my friend michelle wong who her dog miss fuzzy butters is aries best friend they go to school together she was showing me this snuffle mat when I was over there last and I was like, wait a second, this is cute. So this is called a snuffle mat and basically has all these little things here where you can hide what I'm going to say is T words, okay? T words. So you hide the T words wherever you want to in here. I like to really hide them in here too because it's kind of a little bit more challenging for her to get to. I mean, you can put them in here. They have like these little guys where you can fit little treats into or where there's like X's. Oh, like these X's that you can put them under here. And then I make Aries sit and I break, like, break up like some of her treats into smaller pieces and then I just hide them along the snuffle mat. And then she comes and like, you can hear her like sniffing the whole time. Uh, to find these and I just think that it is super adorable, but she has been loving this and a lot of times I will go over to um, Like my friend's house for dinner and I like to bring Aries and I now just always bring her snuffle mat too Because when we sit down to eat I will first just put a few treats in here and that and her entertains her while we eat some dinner But I just I'm really liking this every time I pull it out. She gets uh, so excited and okay it's just a way to like give her her tea words in a way that is just a little bit more challenging. So I highly recommend the snuffle mat for sure. I'm so glad Michelle influenced me to buy this. All right, and then the last thing that I got for Aries is a new dog bed. So again, just got this off of Amazon. This is what it looks like. So I really wanted to get an outdoor dog bed for Aries. She has her cave in here. She's actually laying on a bench right now. Um, obviously she lays on like the couch and things like that. But I wanted to get her a new outdoor dog bed because she loves to lay outside when it's really warm. And we have a little private yard at my apartment where it's all rock and I just feel like it's not the most comfortable for her. So during the warmer months when it's really warm out, I want her to have a little outdoor bed. So this is what I got for her. So she is 60 pounds and I believe this one is the, uh, like the medium size that I got. And I think that it fits really well because she's one of those dogs that likes to like curl up in the little balls. So this size has worked really well for her. And then the bottom is like the black, like supposed to help keep the moisture out and things like that. And then the side that she lays on is nice and comfortable. So this is the dog bed that I got for her and she loves it. It's so nice when I'll be sitting in my office working and I'm like, wait, where is Aries? And I look out in the yard, she's just sleeping in our dog bed in the sun. It just, it makes me so happy. The day that I'm filming this is actually our two year anniversary of getting to Las Vegas. And it just has made me so happy how much Aries seems to like it here and how much she agrees with the weather. And I'm just really relieved because if she did not acclimate to here um you know i wouldn't have kept her here in las vegas i would have let her go back with my ex-husband which i would have been so sad about but she is definitely a las vegas dog she is a desert dog for sure i'm really excited that we got her new dog bed i actually did a spring refresh routine for aries i think i have it posted on youtube now as well it's a little short video of her in the mornings and like on her walk we got her new bowls recently we got our new outfit the dog bed the snuffle mat so it's just kind of her 
refresh for spring routine. So that was really fun to do and I know how how much so many of you love Aries and it just it means a lot to me because like I said she is my best friend. So I wanted to get her a couple things as well but other than that that is everything for my latest haul. I will link everything down below. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and as always if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next one.